Today I want to uh, show this brand new uh, multifunction infrared clock that I got. It's 1280 by 720 voice activated and motion detection as well. Um, comes in a really fancy nice little box. has little magnets on it. You can see the brand new packaging here. I'm going to open this up. Actually I have a previous one already opened over here so I'll go through all the functions on the other one. comes in a really nice little kit with a uh, battery included. Uh, USB cable, some software, a remote control, and um, another uh, USB charging cable, as well as an adapter uh, from the United uh, for the U.S. Uh, and then uh, also the instructions are down here. Again, I found that this is actually a very high quality product and uh, quite a nice little product. It does everything it says it's going to do. It even has eight uh, infrareds on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Motion activated, sound activated, everything. It's uh, quite a sophisticated piece of equipment. On-off switch. It supports up to 32 gigabytes in the uh, TF card. And TF card and SD card is actually the exact same thing. They're just called different things in different countries. So I have spent a great deal of time translating the manual into chi from Chinese into readable English because this instruction manual is completely unintelligible. Completely worthless. You cannot tell how to even turn it on based on the instructions. Well, the most important thing to start out with is to uh, make sure you switch the switch to on. Otherwise, you press the button and nothing happens. When that switch is on, it takes about six hours to charge up the battery the first time. And then what you'll do is you go like this. Hold that down for about two seconds. It will turn off. Tap it like that just once. And it'll turn back on. You see digital camera right there. Now I'm going to go into here. and I'm going to hold this down for about eight seconds. And that's going to take me into the main menu. Right there we go. And you can actually see that it's recording me. Recording it. And the Sony right here. So you could see the... Uh, the uh, images as I'll have some images later of the, off the actual device both at night and with infrared on to show you the infrared range and also to show uh, some audio so you can listen to the audio and hear everything okay now that it's in standby mode I'm gonna hit the uh, remote control here and I'm gonna turn it on to a, just an automatic three minute manual record and I can also turn it off and you can see how it just turned off right there now it's in pause and then if I hold that same button down, it's going to go ahead and turn the blue light on. And that tells me it's in continuous motion record right now. And what will happen is that will go for three minutes. And then the, if the motion is continuous, it keeps going. If it stops, it stops. So it checks every three minutes for more motion. And uh, if it's continuous, it keeps going continuously. Very handy little device. I want to show you the infrared, even though it's going to be hard to show here. And uh, you could just turn that on at any point. I don't. It's very difficult to see, but you can see how it's kind of a purplish light in there. There you go. There's a purplish light. That right there is uh, is the infrared. One thing I should have mentioned is while you are recording, that little tiny blue light will be on for motion detect. And when it's in standby, it'll go over to yellow, so you can just look at it and know that it's actually recording. It's a very handy feature. Some of these do not have the, uh, the ability to tell you what they're actually doing. And then when you uh, go ahead and uh, turn it into uh, just standby right there that's what it'll do is turn into the yellow light right there so that you could tell it's in standby and it's not working and um, the other handy thing is it can do audio only and it can also do audio record so if someone is behind the device or if it's in a room and people just enter it'll just automatically start recording audio and video at the same time so you will at least be able to capture the audio it does have like a 60 decibel uh, setup level and uh, you're able to t turn that on just with regular conversation. So that's very handy. One thing I wanted to point out was that uh, this thing has a status indicator. It's a very quiet. It, it doesn't make any beeps or noises when it's recording or when it's changing between status. But this light will, will flicker. In this case, it's real obvious to show that there's no SD card in. Uh, normally, it'll just be like the yellow light when it's in standby or the blue light when it's in record. And uh, it just keeps everything very covert and very... Uh, quiet so that uh, no one else would have any idea what that means whereas you can just look over at a moment's glance tell what it's doing and uh, it's very handy compared to uh, watches and a lot of the other devices that don't have any uh, 
ability to show what the status is. So you're sitting there looking at your watch or some of the other devices, clicking it and going, is it working? Is it recording? Is it not recording? What's it doing right now? Is it paused? And uh, sometimes you can easily miss long periods of time before you're able to go back and check the card, not really understanding whether what the status is and what the uh, function is at. This thing has uh, the visual indicators that just make it a real, uh, a real smart piece of uh, engineering. Okay, I wanted to show you rather than tell you how to get into the uh, the main function menu to, to do like the basic editing. I'm going to hold down this key. And now you can see this actually uh, videoing me, videoing it. You can see the uh, video is there and the audio is there. And you can just scroll down there with the down key. That's pretty obvious stuff. Now I'm going to go ahead and select that with the middle key. And we can go through here. And it'll show that there's uh, 14 different files here. I'm going to go up through them. Uh, that's the up button. Or that's the down button. So I'll go down through them. You can see that the battery indicator is showing. I wanted to tell you that the battery on this is uh, much larger than a standard uh, AA battery. It's like 3200 uh, milliamps, I think. And uh, it'll last for much, much longer than a standard AA battery. Um, it takes a bit to charge it. Probably about six hours in the charger, especially for the first time. But if you run it all the way down, it takes about six hours to charge it. But then it runs, uh, can run the clock uh, easily 24 hours. And it can run uh, on the start and stop feature with the motion activated um, for a number of hours. I mean, pretty much for all day long. Uh, total, uh, I found between four and six hours of total recording time. Um, if it was just left on non-stop and there was lots of activity. Anyway, I'm going to show you this by going down through the different pick things. So you can see there's a different one, and then go down through that one, and I'm going to go back up again. And this will actually work as an actual visual, uh, you know, actually as a screen, so I'm going to play it for you. You can listen to it. So you can see that uh, I'm able to use it and actually play video on it and edit it. Now, these things are not obvious to find. You would not understand what that means when it says play right there. If you were just casually picking this up, you would have no indication that this is uh, something special about it. You might see the on and off switch, maybe the TF card and go, wow, that thing's pretty fancy. But you wouldn't really know what it is unless you know how to, to hit this thing for 8 seconds solid, which is quite a long period of time. You wouldn't have any idea that it's about ready to switch back over just like that. And uh, so that's it's actually all done very covertly and very smartly. I've been asked how much uh, per gigabyte it would have in recording time with this high definition. I'm going to say a real conservative estimate is about 20 minutes per gigabyte. So if you put in a 4 gigabyte... Uh, chip you can get in uh, you know uh, 80 minutes if you put in 32 gigabytes obviously you can get in a tremendous amount more uh, you can get a 32 gigabyte chip now I think at Walmart or online for around 40 to 50 dollars with these even in the class uh, I use a class 4 and that works just perfectly but you can buy the higher speed uh, one question I've uh, thought myself was can it be used when it's attached to the charger so that it can be used continuously and unfortunately the answer is no to that. It can only be used when it's off. For some reason when it gets attached to the charger it immediately or to USB it immediately shuts it off and uh, then it pops up on your computer screen as a, as a file, uh, as, a, as an external drive, hard drive. So it can also be used as a, a video camera like a webcam and it does just fine like that uh, you have to install the software um, and it makes a great uh, webcam unfortunately I was not able to use the infrared with it when it was on the webcam so that was my only only drawback to that that I didn't like uh, I thought wow would it, wouldn't that be cool to have a, a webcam with infrared but it just doesn't work uh, it will just you turn on the camera and then you can use it like that One of the most interesting things to note on these is that uh, you could spend $600 or more, I'm not joking, even on eBay, if you go into an actual surveillance store, you can spend over $1,000 on something with the finest plug-in features and, uh, you know, always on, motion detection. And if it's sold here in the United States, it will not have audio. I want to zoom in here and show you this little tiny, uh, 
actual video camera is hidden right in here. It's very, very difficult to show you this. But it's right there. That little tiny pinhole camera is right there. And the audio is over here on this side. And um, these are the LEDs right here. And this can record both audio and video at the same time. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, who would want one that doesn't can, you know, include uh, audio as well? I sell mine on eBay for uh, less than $80, including shipping. And uh, it's for odds and ends online enterprises. And uh, you'll be able to see the link um, copied down at the bottom. So you could go into it and order this exact product. And then you can take a look and see the quality of product for yourself. I wanted to show the distance at which the, uh, the power button will work here. I'm about, about as far away as I can get in here, about 8 feet. Go ahead and just turn it on for you. See the yellow light just blinked on? There you go. So you can run everything from quite a ways away. Turn it off now. There you go. Just turn it on and off. Now you can see how far away that is. I haven't tested the full length of it, but uh, I'm guessing it's probably over 20 feet. Here I am about uh, 15 to 18 feet away. Go ahead and give it a try here. Well, I guess this is only about maybe 12 feet. Oh, just turn it off. I'm going to go all the way back as far as I can here. See if I can turn off here. This is a uh, this is a good solid 16, 17, 18 feet here. Okay, I'm gonna press it. See if I can turn it off. Yep, yeah, still working. So it's going a long ways. There you go. That's one foot. That's two foot. That's three feet. And I want to show you here, this is six feet from the end of the bed, so you can see what that all looks like up there on the wall and everything. You can see how darker fabrics turn quite a bit darker. But anything light is already light, such as skin or anything white, white clothing or anything can be seen quite easily. You can see here I'm at four feet. Here I'm at five and six feet. You can see the quality there very easily. Now we'll go ahead and I will go out a total of uh, about 8 feet, so you can see even as you can see. It's actually quite good quality. So, uh, go like right here. I would say this thing has a total of about 9 feet. I wanted to show you what the audio was like with all the air conditioning off and the fans off and all the noise shut down. It was pretty loud earlier today, so I'm going to show you the uh, the audio and the video. This is uh, about five feet away with uh, two lights on, and uh, you can see how good the the, off the uh, lighting is. And then I'm going to go all the way out here. You can hear the audio from here, and it is about eight feet away, nine feet away. Okay, this is what it looks like with just one lamp light on. You can see how easy it is to see. I'm going to turn down to the lowest level of lamp. This is the lowest level of lamp right here that I have. It's about a 30 watt bulb right there, maybe 40. Actually, I think it's about 30 watts. So, uh, there you can see the, the level of visibility of 30 watts. It's actually quite good. And of course, you can always have the UV light as well. And I also wanted to say one last thing, that the infrared has got a solid 9 foot range. As you can see in those videos, uh, this room is very small, so it's only about 8 to 10 feet across at an angle. And uh, an 8 to 9 foot range is just a huge range for infrared. Uh, you would be surprised at something that this small can be that, <clears throat> that uh, high of a range. On the other hand, it does cut down on the battery life significantly when you're using that. Uh, I'd say down to 3 or 4 hours like that. So... It does use a lot of battery power to run all those LEDs, but uh, I think it's well worth it to be able to see in complete darkness. Have both sound, complete darkness ability, and um, that's just a pretty amazing amount of functions for something so simple and so cheap.